Hello everyone, this is Miss Iman from The Knowledge Land. Welcome to my channel where creativity is explored through hands-on learning and fun teaching resources. In today's video, I'm going to introduce my comparison review book. With this book, you can teach or review with your child the comparison, how to find out the bigger amount, how to find out the smaller amount or the equal amount in a fun way, engaging way, and with hands-on activities. Now, if you are interested to get this book, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to register your email address in the link I'm leaving below in the description box. Now, are you ready? Here we go. So here we are. Um, in this book, you will find um, seven to eight different hands-on activities. I will start with the first activity. In the first activity, the child will see two different groups. He will be asked to count each set to find out which one is more or which one is less and or maybe they are equal and to find um, the corresponding sign. So for example, for the first one, I will try to do the first one. So for the first one, I have um, these ladybugs. So I'm going to ask my child to count each set. So in here we have one, two, and three. And here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So as this child is playing the ladybug or whatever manipulatives you have, maybe you're going to give him some cubes, maybe a uh, pom-pom, whatever you have, um, the child will see that he put here more ladybugs than here. So this means that this group is less than this. So the alligator will prefer to eat this kind or this group. So the alligator's mouth will not open to this side. The alligator's mouth will not be equal. The alligator mouth will open to the right side since the right side is more than the left side. So we are going to say that this set is bigger than this set. For example, this one here, I don't have um, acorns, however, I have those erasers, so I'm going to see the erasers over here. I have these erasers. I'm going to remove the ladybugs. So in, in this set, I'm going to put display some kind of erasers. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So in here, I put six erasers. So here I have six acorns. Here I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. So both sets have the same number of erasers. Both sets have uh, the same the same number of acorns. So this means that the alligator's mouth will be equal. So here, um, here is the first kind or the first uh, hands-on activity. You will find maybe um, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pages, they have the same kind of section. The child will count uh, the number of objects he has in each set. Then the child will, will choose the proper sign um, just to display it right in the middle. The second kind of activity is this, um, the jars, and the child will be asked to display a number here. So it's not only counting the object, the child will find the corresponding number, put it under the jar or put it under each set, and then he will be asked to find or to draw the sign by himself. So for example, I, what I have here, what I prefer to ask my child to do is to cross out the objects that he has in each group. So here I have one, two, three, four or five six if you don't have the kind if you don't have the uh the the numbers he can write the number under each set so here i have six here i have one two three four or five six seven so i'm gonna choose my seven i'm gonna display it here so seven is a greater than six so the alligator's mouth will open toward the right side here it's the same kind of instruction you will have maybe six pages the same kind of instruction whether it's a, a jar uh, of candy or whether it's uh, the beehives or the hot air balloons the child will be asked to count the number of things that he has in each set so here i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten the child will find number ten will display it in the square under the picture or under the set so we have here one two three four five six so the child will find number six will display it here and then it's very clear that 
the left side has more bees than the right side, the alligator's mouth will open toward the, um, the left side. It's the same exactly in the, uh, with the hot air balloons. The child will count how many hot air balloons he has in each set. He will display a number or write down the number. Then he will draw uh, the alligator mouth properly. In this set, the child, he has an instruction and he, he needs to figure out which kind or which one of the dominants has this kind of instruction over here right at the top. So here I'm asking him to find the domino that has less than seven. So the child will take the marker, will count the dots and the number of dots. So I have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So is, the, is nine less than seven? No. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is less than seven? No. Here I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, six is less than seven. So he will find, he will put, um, he will cover this circle here since this this domino has less than uh, seven, has number of dots less than seven. In here, it's equal to 10. So he needs to figure out which one is equal to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's clear that it's uh, the first one has a uh, number of dots that's equal to 10. However, he shouldn't stop over here. He should continue and count. Maybe he will find another one. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. No two. So here, here you will have like uh, three pages of the same kind. So one time he will find greater than, greater than, less than, equal to with the dominoes. If you have dominoes at home, it will be great to find out this domino and display it here too. It's another kind. It's another um, instruction too. And in here, the child will uh, play with his fingers. So. It's a, it's a, um, it's an instruction that's uh, right at the top, but he needs to find out with his finger the answer with his finger. So here I need uh, the the group that has equal to eight. So I'm gonna put here five and three over here, and I'm gonna I'm gonna count my fingers. So I have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, eight equal to eight. So I'm gonna display it over here. Let's see this one. So here we have four fingers here. Here I have two, for example. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, six is not equal to eight. Let's go down here. So I have a three fingers over here and I have four fingers over here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is seven greater than five? Yes. So I'm gonna bring my emoji and put it here right on the circle. Let's find this one, two and two. So one, two, three, four. Is four greater than five? No, so I'm not gonna display anything on the circle over here. You will find also here three pages with the same kind of activities. So, and, and you know what? This is a good introduction to addition too. So whether it's with the dominoes, whether it's, it's with the fingers, it's a good, a good kind or a good uh, introduction to addition. So in here, the child will have 10 frames and he has some leaves on each group. What he needs, he will be asked to is to count the number of leaves he has in each uh, group in on or in each 10 frame. And then uh, he can display the number over here and then find the proper answer. So he will find whether this group is greater than this group or this group is less than this group or this group is equal to this group. And some kind or sometimes Sometimes the child will will find out the answer just with um, looking at each set because he can tell with the number of the leaves on each 10 frame whether this is these are equal or this is greater than this or this is less than this so for example here I'm gonna have like one two three four five six seven so here I have um, seven he can display it over here and here I have one two three four five Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have another um, seven over here. Let's find another seven with the number, or maybe he can write the number instead. If you don't have the numbers, uh, manipulatives, or if you have a puzzle, it will be great for the child to display, to find out the number and put the number over here. I'm just looking for a number seven. I need one more seven. So 
here's another seven so seven is equal to seven so here let's do one more one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so here i have ten so the child will display the number over here and then just with looking at the at like at both 10 frames he will figure out that this one is greater than this however i will ask my child to count the number of leaves it's a not, it's a good practice for counting too so here i have one two three four so i'm going to display number four here 10 is greater than four and so on so you got the idea for this kind of um activity the child will count then he will circle the right answer in this set you will have only two pages this is another kind of activities and i really like this one um the child will have some cards he will figure out whether this instruction or this formula or whatever it is this card is true or this card is false so for example for this one what do you think about this one two three four five six six is less than eight yes it's true so the child will put it over here let's find another card for example so um one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four nine is less than a four no this is false so the child will display it under false and so on so you have sometimes you have uh the fish i have like the fish the ice cream with the number i have the dominoes one type i have i think yeah that's it so the dominance, the 10 frame or the picture or with the number itself, he needs to find out which card is false and which card is true. So um, this is the um, this is the uh, next activity. Then I put here uh, the last activity. I put it just for practice. So the child, after he practiced some different kind of hands on activities, the child can figure out now uh, the right sign and he can he can recognize um, the comparison now so I put this as a kind of assessment before I give him uh, the certificate so I, li I really like to put a certificate with each book it's a kind of um, incentive for the child it's challenging it gives him it motivates him to get this certificate so with this one the child will have a marker and will go I, I think I have two pages of this one the first page is to compare the numbers uh, from 1 to 10 and the second page is to compare the numbers between or from 11 to 20 so um, sometimes I will start with this one and then when I feel that the child is really good in comparison I'm gonna give him the second page and as I said this is a kind of assessment so in here um, let's start with this one so in here nine is a greater than three two is less than six and it's a good to practice with your child um, like naming the sign so four is less than eight five is equal to five 10 is greater than 7, 9 is greater than 4, 10 is equal to 4. And then once he's done, once he's done, I will write his name, I will write down his name and what kind of achievement he did with the date and he can take it or display it uh, beside his bed or in his room. So this is um, all the activities, all the hands-on activities with in this book. If you are interested to get this book, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and <laughs> don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to um register your email address to get this free book i hope you guys you got some benefits from this book thank you for watching and keep oh you i forgot you need to turn on the notification button so whenever i post a video you will have the notification that you have a new resource and you can get it as soon as possible thank you for watching again bye bye, bye.